Hi, this is Jeff Challen. This short screencast is going to walk you through the process of getting a copy of MP1 so that you can start on the assignment. Uh, we've placed a copy of MP1 in your Subversion repository that you're using for the class. So the trick is you have to go grab it from there. Um, nicely, um, happily, this is not that hard. So uh, we start in Eclipse. Uh, we go to File, Import. Now we're going to choose Import project from SVN. So this is an open, uh, choose this option here. Now, if you've configured your SVN repository previously following our instructions, then you should have this existing repository location, which corresponds to the root of the uh, repository, the root of the uh, repository that you're going to use throughout the rest of the semester. So you can click next here if you haven't uh, follow our instructions for setting up your repository on this version page. Now when you get here, this is important. So rather than um, clicking next, which you can't do anyway, um, you need to hit browse. And what you'll see here is that inside your Subversion repository, there's a new subdirectory called MP1. And that contains the MP1 project that we want you to modify for this assignment. So select that as the base resource, click OK. Um, and now I'm going to click Finish. Now this will think for a minute, and then it's going to ask me here. Um, now it's pretty important that I want to check out the project with the name specified MP1. Um, so I don't want to check out this folder into an existing project. I want to check out the project here. I click um, Next. I can choose a workspace. The default one is fine. And click Finish. So now you'll see it think for a minute. And when it's done over here, I have a copy of MP1.